With the weather warming up, it's a great time to get outside and get active, especially with your family. Right. So Amy Ritzma is here from Onsite Wellness to tell us what people should be doing now to get back right. into the swing of things and focus on, you know, getting healthy this yes, spring right. and summer. Bring it on, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so really, I mean, spring is such a time of renewal. We get it so is. excited. The flowers are blooming, the trees are coming out and we just want to be outside. And it's amazing how after this long winter in Michigan, right. how we just long to be outside and see the sunshine. I mean, yeah. and it's not just adults, it's kids too. You mm -hmm. know, we really, it's like wanting to be out and there's so many good aspects of just being outside and enjoying the outdoors and what spring and summer have to bring. Right. right, I mean, moving here from Colorado, there was just a lot less sunlight during the winter and so people take actual vitamin D right. vitamins and things right. like that, things that I'm not used to. So <laughs> now that we have some sunshine, yeah. it's wonderful. So what do you suggest in order to get families outside and right. active? Oh, plan it into your day, I mean, if you okay. can. I mean, especially now that as, as school is soon to be coming out, right, right, there's a lot more things, just making sure you're planning some sort of outdoor activities with your kids, it's so easy for them to get stuck behind a screen. Mm -hmm. We don't, we need that. You know, mm -hmm. we have that all winter long. Right. So, you know, plan family bike rides after dinner, um, plan trips to the park maybe. Um, maybe it's putting a family vegetable garden in your backyard. I mean, what better way to teach the kids where our food really comes from is to even just put a box garden and grow just a couple tomato plants so they can actually see how this all works. And right? they can help you with the garden too Absolutely. and gets you outside on weekends, tending to that. Yes. Perfect. And speaking of food, there's a lot more fresh, fresh vegetables and things oh. like that with the farmer's markets and Absolutely. stuff. So what do you recommend people take oh. advantage of? You know, the best thing about the farmer's markets is the, the stuff changes as the season moves on, right? From right. spring to summer to fall. So take advantage of what, what's happening right now and try some new recipes and do some things. Support those local farmers because, you know, we love them. So oh, absolutely. we want to make sure and try, you know, they're less expensive. So mm -hmm. if you're not, you know, going to the farmer's market in the grocery store, even those fruits and vegetables are getting less expensive. So now is the time, right, to get there and, and try them out. Farmers markets are great too because it's Love it. the opportunity that you have during the year to get outside. You're outside getting in some vitamin D and out walking around. Right. So it's great for and lots also of a aspects. great family activity, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you, I mean, I know when I go to the market, there's just tons of families and the kids are involved in picking and choosing and and showing them all of the cool things. And you know, maybe you get a bouquet of flowers too while you're there, Absolutely. right? Just to cheer up the house a little bit. Sure, and why is it so important? Um, because I, especially after you've been inside all winter long, why is it important to really focus and emphasize your health during the spring? Well, it's like I said, it's kind of a time of renewal. And sure. I think we, we talk oftentimes, especially in Michigan about seasonal affective disorder mm -hmm. and some of these things where we just really get down during the winter mm -hmm. and mental health is so important. I mean, and honestly, just getting outside with the fresh air and the sunshine can do wonders for our mental health as well as our physical health, as well as stress management. I mean, if you're really struggling and having a rough day, a walk around the block may be just what the doctor ordered, right? So yeah. think about that as much as, you know, just enjoying the sunshine. I mean, kids, I know feel cooped up too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I just heard a story about somebody who said, oh, my grandchild said, it's so good to be outside when they were riding their bikes. And you sure. think, wow, you don't really think about how kids feel about it, but they're cooped up too. So get them out. And it's important to instill those good habits early on so they continue Absolutely. that into their, yep. their whole and lifetime. If you're, if you're promoting that as a family function, that will stick with them for life. Sure. Amy, thank you so you much bet. for joining us. We appreciate it. We you have bet. all of these tips on our website at 13onyourside.com.